everybody, it's me, Kasha Wolf, and today I decided that we are going to be doing a healing candle. And with this candle, it's, it has a lot to kind of do with, kind of like what we did last video. Last video we did an uncrossing kind of, you know, get rid of and undo hexes and curses and stuff like that. But we had Michael in there, uh, the Archangel Michael. In this one, we're going to be calling to uh, Raphael, and Raphael is really, really, really big in healing. He's really big in animals and really big in healing. His name literally means God heals, so that's why I decided to go this direction. You guys really enjoyed having a candle video. Someone said that they would like to see more candle videos, and I've heard a lot of people say that as well um, as I've been doing videos. So I decided I wanted to go in that direction with this video. I've been getting a lot of different spells and stuff popping in my head that I really want to write down, get together, and put out videos for you. Um, with this one in particular, I made it so that it would be extremely easy for you to do and have easy access. So you're going to be hearing a lot of optional this, optional that, so that that way you have more options on what you're going to be picking for this uh, spell. I want everybody to be able to do this spell and it's very very simple You need like very little for this a lot of times in the videos You'll hear me talk about Michael. I actually have a tattoo That has his sigil and we're actually going to be using Raphael's sigil in this particular candle um, There's not going to be power words, but you can always look up a prayer to Raphael and uh, Say that as you do this spell, but I wanted to make this super simple, that's why I didn't really include words, but there's going to be a lot of visualization going on in this. Alrighty, so what you're going to need is a candle, of course, and the colors for healing and the colors for Raphael um, are very similar because that's like his number one thing that he does. And the candle I'm going to be using in this spell is going to be green. Green is a really good healing color, and that's why I'm wearing green lipstick too. Um, but green is Raphael's main color. Other candles you can think about using would be blue or purple, but purple is a little bit harder to find. And if you cannot find any colored candles and all you have is white, that's absolutely fine. White represents, you know, all colors, so you'll be able to use white as a great stand-in. But today I actually do have green, and this is a scented candle. It's already scented and whatnot, but I want you guys to know that a lot of witches will say try to avoid getting scented candles, but if that's all you have, then go for it. You know, it's all intention. So you can see it's got all the stuff on it, but I was going to tear it off, but I don't feel like it right now. But yes. You're also going to want something to scrape into the candle because we're going to be adding a lot of symbolism in this spell. Now that we're going to be having is at least three different stones and if you cannot get your hands on any of these stones then we're going to be using simple pennies and the reason why pennies is pennies are copper and copper is the metal for Raphael and it's also a very powerful healing metal a lot of people will wear copper bracelets for healing and different stuff like that so with the copper pennies you're going to want if you decide to go this route you're going to want to pick out three of the prettiest pennies you have now if you don't live in the US of course you're probably not going to be using this method but if not, I do have a list of stones that I'm going to be going over that you could be using for this. So for stones, you don't have to do one of each. You can actually do three of whatever stone you have access to. Um, or you can do uh, three, but three different ones that I'm going to list. So these healing stones are connected to Raphael and they're also connected to just healing in general and used very often in healing work. So Malachite, Citrine, adventuring and clear quartz. I'm going to have pictures up of course so that you guys can see them and that way you'll know exactly what you're going to be looking for. Ooh, and another one I forgot to mention is bloodstone. Bloodstone is a very, very powerful healing stone. It's been used for centuries for healing and I have personally worked with uh, bloodstone and had many great results from it. I've had people 
tell me about how well it's worked for them. They just carry it and they feel a lot better and some of the symptoms that they've you know, felt before have gone away while having the stone. And the last thing you're going to be needing is a photo of the individual you want to heal. This could be you or this could be someone you care about. You're going to want a photo. As you can see, I just wrote photo on this paper. And we're going to be using one sigil. So you're going to need a pen, of course, so that you could write. It's better to be using a sacred pen. And what that is, is a pen that you only use for writing spells or writing in your book of shadows or just writing for spells in general and it's only used for that, it's not used for anything else and usually what you do is you cleanse it and do a ritual with it to make sure that it's only used for Alright, so as you can see here we have our green candle. What you're going to want to do is before getting started you might want to get some salt or something like that for cleansing it. So what we're going to do is we're going to hold it between our hands to visualize any type of negative energy leaving this candle. Because before using candles, you usually want to cleanse it and then charge it. Some people will use sage or salt or like leave them out in their sacred space just to cleanse itself. And uh, a lot of the times you'll just hold it and imagine the negative energy leaving. So you're just using visualization to do this. And also you want to fill it with your own energy from grounding and that way it'll be charged with your intention. So you want to imagine charging and filling with pure white light coming from your heart to your arms, to your hands, to this candle. And kind of picture of like a little dark fog on this candle and kind of like disappearing from the strong light of your own energy. You might feel heat, you might feel vibration or tingling. And as you imagine the white light filling the candle, then imagine it staying with the candle and as you let go, the light stays there. And then just shake your hands to kind of disconnect. And that's how you would charge a candle. Usually you can kind of feel it in your solar plexus when it's been done. You'll feel like a tingling sensation. So what we're going to do is we're going to carve a triangle into this candle. This candle represents fire. So we're doing basically fire magic, but by adding this symbol, the triangle, we're bringing out that fire element even more because it represents fire. And I wear a necklace with this symbol almost all the time. And by invoking the fire element, you're going to be making this spell work a lot faster. Working with the element fire makes spells a lot faster. Sorry if my triangle looks a little retarded, but there we go. So just so you can kind of see it, you're, basically what you're trying to do is make it like face up. I'm pretty sure you guys can do a better job than I did, but uh, there we go having our fire element. This is gonna help burn through any sickness or anything like that that you're trying to get rid of. Next, you're going to want to have your photo. So here you see my handmade photo. This photo is going to have anybody who uh, you might be using this spell for. You can also have um, like some clothing from them or hair or anything like that. Um, if that's all you have, you can also write down their name if you would like. But what you're going to do is on the back of your photo, you're going to make a sigil. And this sigil is for Raphael. This is going to bring him more into this and uh, help invoke him and to ask him to help you with healing and to help you heal that individual. So if this is like too complex for you to draw or whatever, I will also have another image show up of another sigil you can actually do for him uh, that will work just as well. Alright, so after you've made your sigil, you are going to place it underneath your candle. You're going to do the photo face up and then put your candle directly over where the sigil is going to be. I know this like is upside down, maybe I should face it towards how it would look if it was facing you guys. There we go. And next, you're going to get your three pennies or your three stones, whichever one you end up using. I'm going to add a frame. There we go. 
So I picked the three prettiest pennies I had and what you're going to do is cleanse and charge these as well because uh, seeing that these are pennies, they've been through many places and hands and you don't know what kind of energy they may have carried with them. And uh, same with your stones as well. So you want to kind of do the same thing where you imagine white light going into it. But with these, we're also going to imagine green light. So that, that way we're bringing back that green energy for healing and also for Raphael. Now, once you feel that they are fully charged, you're going to place them in the spot, basically in the place of a triangle. So if you have an altar where you're keeping this, which is best, um, make sure everything is set on your altar and then you place these pennies. So these pennies are gonna help seal the deal basically. And what you're going to do is as you place them, you're going to picture uh, green energy just sitting in that spot and then creating a triangle. We're using major symbolism and also like numerology here. I'm using three pennies to represent the Holy Trinity. Last time we used four holes to represent the four elements, but this time we're using three to represent the Holy Trinity. Or, you know, the crone, the maiden and whatnot, if that's what you guys uh, prefer. So, placing it. Imagine a green light and then I'm connecting more green light and then right here to finish it off and just green light all through and you should be kind of feeling sensations in your body and also just in the space. You want to do this in a clean, sacred space or like smudge the area before placing your stuff here. Then you want to light your candle. So what you want to do is wait till the candle uh, burns out for the most part. Just wait till it burns all the way down to the bottom. If it stops before that, then the spell has been completed. And what you're going to do is get your stones or your pennies or copper or whatever you're using for the three corners is take them. And if you want, you can wrap them in a little cloth or fabric or whatever and bury them away from the house. Um, Raphael is connected to earth and when you give them back to the earth that's basically giving thanks. So you guys I hope you really like that spot. I put a lot of thought into it and it was just something that kept on popping in my head. I was originally going to do it with the blue candle but I constantly kept on seeing it green so that's why I decided to use green um, in the video. You will be able to find this uh, completed spell with the list and everything that you will need on spellsofmagic.com. I will have a link in the description below. It might not pop up immediately as soon as this video comes out because I still have to type it up, but it'll be out there and ready for you guys. If you guys have any questions about this, please let me know down in the comments. Uh, let me know what you thought about it. Uh, let me know if you didn't think it was as simple as I thought it was because in my head it seemed very simple. I didn't use really any herbs or anything like that. I try to keep it extremely simple so everybody can do it. And I know a lot of people have been wanting something for healing. And when it comes to healing, you don't want to feel like you have to put a crap load of money into it. You want to know that it's something that you can do immediately or as soon as possible. Anyways, you guys, I hope you like that. I'm extremely proud of it. I feel really good about this spell and I don't know, I'm just really happy. But yes, you guys, I've been thinking about possibly having like some kind of banishing spray like uh, some water that you can keep with you to like spray away negativity and stuff like that um, let me know if you're interested in that in the comments if not then I'll see about maybe making something else it was something else that I wanted to make that was really simple that everyone can use and have but yeah you guys I hope you liked it don't forget to comment like subscribe so that you can be a part of the wolf pack I'll talk to you guys later goodbye and blessed be